Exotic farming? Let's get this loot. Recently when playing Destiny 2, one of my longtime brothers in light and I were farming for high stat armor. I was walking him through some strategies that I use to easily get high stat armor with the stats that I want. He's a longtime Destiny 2 guardian, and he Party mentioned the tips helped him out. So I figured I'd share some of them with you uh, in case these tips can help you out as well. In this video, I'm going to cover how the Postmaster exotic trick works. It'll let you have much more control over your exotic drops. Specifically, you can have an exotic in whatever slot you want with whatever stat spike you want. So step one, have full engrams, 10 out of 10 engrams on the character you plan to farm with. This will make any exotic you get go to the Postmaster because your engrams are full. Then step two, repeatedly complete solo law sectors on legend or master difficulty. Personally, I like the fast ones like Excavation Site 12, The Quarry, uh, Sky Dock 4 because they take about 60 seconds at a relaxed pace. Again, any exotic you earn while farming law sectors will go to the Postmaster. Then step three, manage your Postmaster while farming. Personally, I use Destiny Item Manager website to see how full my Postmaster is getting. As it gets full, I delete Legendary and Umbrella Engrams and Enhancement Cores. Of note, the Enhancement Cores will show up as Engrams in the Postmaster, but you can tell that there are Enhancement Cores from the power level being zero though. So at this point, you have exotics in the Postmaster, right? Now comes the cool part. Whenever you pull these exotics out of the Postmaster, they will decrypt into whatever armor slot the featured Lost Sector is rewarding on the day you pull them out. So the day that you earn them doesn't matter. So in this example, I was Lost Sector farming on the day that Skydock 4 was given exotic chest engrams, but I wanted an exotic helmet engram. So I farmed Skydock 4 to fill my Postmaster and then waited for the day that the Lost Sector was rewarding helmets. It happened to be the Quarry Lost Sector that was rewarding exotic helmet engrams, so I grabbed one of my exotics from the Postmaster, which decrypted into a helmet. Coupling this method with the Ghost Armor mod guarantees you get an exotic in the slot you want with at least tens in the stat that you want. In this example, I wanted Resilience, so I used the Resilience Ghost Armor mod, and my helmet ended up with a spike of 19 in Resilience, just what I needed for my armor build. So when I first heard about this, my initial response was, so what? Here's the so what. This glitch helps my Destiny workflow. On days with super fast Lost Sectors, like around 60 seconds to complete, I farm the Lost Sector, and I get five to eight exotics in the Postmaster of each of my characters. This takes very little time compared to farming a longer Legend Lost Sector. And then I cash those exotics in on the first day of the new season, uh, when the new exotic slot is dropping. For example, when Osmiomancy Gloves came out in the Witch Queen, I didn't have to power level to do Legend Lost Sectors. I just waited for the Lost Sector to be rewarding arms. I put on my Discipline Ghost Armor mod, and I took out one of the exotics, and boom, instant new Osmiomancy Gloves. On the new season, it will always drop the exotic that you want um, on the day it's rewarding that slot. So for example, Arms Day for Osmiomancy Gloves or Helmet Day for the Loralee. Here's another example of how this trick helps. This season, with the change with Resilience, I wanted a role of Omni Oculus that had high resilience to increase my survivability. I waited for the Lost Sector to be given chess pieces, and I put on the Resilience Ghost Armor mod and cashed in a few exotics, and I got the role I wanted. Easy. So on days that have short Lost Sectors, I highly recommend doing this method so you always have access to a high chance at the God Rolled exotics that you want. Now that you have all these exotics, you're going to need lots of high stat armor to go along with them. So click this next video to learn how you can farm high stat armor pieces to make triple and quadruple 100 stat builds.